would be the best to burn. If you're going to heat your house with wood, wood burner, wood burning fireplace, fireplace, the best wood to use is hardwoods. Oak is probably one of your better hardwoods to burn. I don't know, it all depends on what area of the country you're in. I know in Northeast Ohio, oaks are pretty prevalent. Maple's good to burn. It's not hardwood, but it's still a good wood to burn. Cherry? Cherry's good to burn. Um, elm, hickory. Hickory's good, good to burn too. It's a hardwood. Now, why why wouldn't you use pine? Pine has too much sap in it. Pine has a lot of knots in it. And if you've ever noticed, if you're sitting around a campfire and throw, somebody throws a piece of pine on there, it pops a lot. Pop, 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 pop. That's when little knots getting hard and they pop. They uh, make a lot of ash. Make a lot of ash and they don't really burn well. They're not a, they're not a hot burning wood. They're okay for a, for a fireplace outside, but for indoors, I would not burn with, with pine. Don't they also have a sap? They have a lot of sap in them. And sap is basically, it's kind of, it kind of works like a, like a, like a fuel. It, it, it burns like, like gasoline, but it's also got moisture in it. So it also actually helps uh, create creosote in your, in your, your chimneys. Creosote is probably one of the biggest, well, is the biggest reason for house fires, for chimney fires. Cre creosote builds up into your into your chimney. It's like a, a thick, sappy stuff in your chimney that b builds up. And when embers come up, they're spitting sparks. And that, uh, with uh, pine, part pine produces a lot of sparks. So when it does that, it actually gets in there and will ignite your creosote in your chimney. Uh, if you heat with heat with wood, or have a wood fireplace, wood stove, a wood you know like a cooking stove, they have those too. Um, it's a good idea to keep your chimneys cleaned. Uh, I do mine twice a year. I tear the chimney down twice a year, run a chimney brush, a sweeper brush around. I got squares. I have both, and I run down through there and clean all the the soot out of there and also get some of the uh, creosote out of there too. They have cleaning logs you can put in there to help burn creosote. Uh, they've, I've heard that, I've tried it myself actually, I've done it myself. Can't swear to it, but it's, I've, I've done it just because it might help. Aluminum pop cans, burning aluminum pop cans. Not every day, just periodically throw a couple pop cans in there, not full. <laughs> um, and just the, 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 the aluminum burns, it lets off a chemical that helps break down that soot in your chimneys. Um, so you want to stick with your, your hardwoods. You want to stick with seasoned wood. You don't want green wood. Green wood, for one, it won't burn. Now, what is seasoned wood? Seasoned wood is, like I said, this wood's been down for five or six years. Let me see the camera here. I'll show you this. Seasoned wood, okay, this is seasoned wood. Seasoned wood has been around for several, several years. Seasoned wood is wood that you cut and leave lay for at least a year, minimum a year, um, sometimes two. And then uh, once it's seasoned, you don't want it dry and punky. Punky is when it gets brittle. I mean, you just crush it with your hand. It just gets all brittle and turns into uh, funk. I call it funk. But uh, doesn't has no has no heat pro no heat properties. Then all the heat properties are out of it. You need some moisture in the wood to give. The heat heat content but you want to get it dry enough to where it's going to produce enough moisture to give off heat but yet have enough heat to give off warmth so i said it's typically it's it's a good year a good year so if you cut a tree down this year you can't burn it till next year so if you're going to plan on putting a wood burner in think of it to plan in advance for one you have to have access to wood you want to make sure you have seasoned wood and you typically don't want to buy it um some areas of the country, even around here, you know, there's areas where you can get uh, pick a pick up load of wood, forty dollars. Other places, the same pick up load of wood is two hundred fifty dollars. You can go through a couple cords a year. It could be, you know, several hundred dollars to buy. So if you don't have wood access to it or access access to wood, um, keep that in mind. If you're gonna buy wood, start up on wood, start up ahead of time. Well, we'll close the video off for today. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, 
if you're interested in burning with wood this year that I uh, taught you a little something about wood. Uh, burning with wood is a, a good heat. It's a, it's a warm heat, but it comes with it comes with a price. If you haven't, haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and take care. See you next time.